In this video, I will show you how to solve question 14 in chapter 5, which involves determining the reactions at the two supports, A and B. Support A is a roller joint, and the force acting on it will be perpendicular to the surface. We also have two forces acting on support B, which is a revolute joint, the horizontal force, Bx, and the vertical force, By. Our goal is to represent these forces using a single force, which will be equivalent to the area of a rectangle. The width of the rectangle is the total length of the beam. Considering this triangle, this length is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus this length squared for squared, which is equal to 5. This force is 800 times 5, which is 4000. Next, we take the moment around point B, setting the clockwise direction as negative and the counterclockwise direction as positive. The moment of the 4000 newtons force is the force times the perpendicular distance, which is 2.5 meters, and it is making a counterclockwise moment. The moment of force A is the perpendicular distance, 3, times the force A, and it is making a clockwise moment. We can solve for force A using this equation, and we get 3,333.33 newtons. Now, we need to project the 4,000 newtons force into its horizontal and vertical components. Assuming this angle to be angle theta, this angle also will be theta. We can use the angle theta to calculate the horizontal and vertical components, where sine theta is equal to 3 fifths or 0 0.6, and cosine theta is equal to 4 fifths or 0 0.8. The horizontal component is 4000 times sine theta, which is 2400 newtons, and the vertical component is 4,000 times cosine theta, which is 3,200 newtons. Using the equilibrium equations, we can solve for the reactions that supports A and B. The equilibrium in the x direction gives us Bx equals 2,400 newtons. The vertical force at support B is By plus A, minus 3200 is equal to 0, so we can solve for By and get minus 133.33 newtons. However, this is a negative value, which means that the assumed force direction is incorrect. The correct direction is downward. So we get By equals 133.33 newtons downward. Thank you for watching this video, and don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments. Please subscribe to us, and share this content with your friends.